saying that nigga did it how I always wanted to do it, and I'll never be able to do it like that. Oh, hot take. This, this, hold on. This, this is acting. <laughs> All right. So look, right. I have, I have it set up where I can see, um, when we're on Twitch mm-hmm. and Instagram. Uh-huh. So it's playing on Instagram, but it's not playing. On StreamYard. So I don't know if our videos are playing right now because it's saying failure to browse. All right. I don't know what this is. I don't know what's going on with life or anything at this point. But I'm, ang- I'm, I'm angry. I'm upset. Is this WCW in the late two, mid 2000s? Well, mm. like early 2000s, right? Not mid. Which when I'm they were in Las Vegas and, you know, it was toward bankruptcy. Maybe what? we're getting hacked by that QR code like Braun SmackDown. Wait, wait. Guys, what are you... Wait, okay, hold on, wait, hold on. Wait, okay. Hold on. What are you guys talking about right now? Because I'm lost. It was... The joke's going over your head, bro. It's okay. It is. That's why you got to enlighten me. You're saying our visuals weren't going through. I said maybe it's budget cuts. Ah, ah, that it's funny. I'm scared to play the next video now because I don't even know if it's gonna play. Uh, I told you we're gonna get hacked like that QR code on Raw and SmackDown. This, this, this is this is all just very, very. Are we we not live on YouTube? We we are live on YouTube because we still have someone that is there on live on YouTube. This this is the frustrating thing about about all the things that we have with technology. It don't work. Okay? And I'm not old. It don't work. You getting up there though, buddy. No, it's not. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth when you talk to me about that. It don't work. Okay? You talk to me nice and understand what I'm saying. Let's try another. Oh, oh. Uh, see? See? See what happens? Now he just fell the face of the earth. What is going on tonight with freak? I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna introduce you, man, and we're gonna go from there. I'm just gonna introduce you, buddy. And then, no, 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 I'm gonna introduce myself. No, 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 it's okay. I'm gonna introduce myself and see if this works. Let's just hope this works. Here we go. It's Toxic Jose, Joe Freelon. He's so toxic. <laughs> So that BS worked, but I couldn't get my intro. You know, the intro hypes me up and everything else. Welcome to the Hot Take Wrestling Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Joe Freeland, a.k.a. I am the champ, a.k.a. Toxic Jose, a.k.a. Why would you say that? Anything for Salinas. Anything for Salinas. I have my brothers in here with me. We're going to talk some wrestling. Yeah. yeah. You said, what What'd you say? Don't don't talk too low. Okay. Let's rewind it, a.k.a. I am the champ. The champ, yeah, I'm the champ, bro. I'm, I'm a champ, El champion, El champion, man. You know how it is. You know how I'm it just is. saying. Last I saw and then last I checked, Jay Uso's been on like a mean losing streak, like so. No, that's that's not. No, 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 no. I, I listen. You dubbed me that, but that we don't we don't follow along with that protocol. We don't lose here. No, we, we, don't, we, don't lose here. <laughs> we don't We don't like that shit. We don't like that shit. What 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 are they saying? Remember the Titans. Well, remember, say, remember the Titans? You you fumble the ball, you run a mile. Uh, you you lose our, you run a mile. All that, yeah, yeah. No, we don't do that here. Not 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 in this. Area. Not today. Not today. It, hold it's on not written, it's not written that way. No, it's not written that way. I got you, big guy. Hold on one second. It's the ginger whiskey assassin, the other KG. <laughs> Hashtag y'all gotta chill. Talk to him, KJ! I'm just trying to understand how Dominic is one arm. He got two mommies fighting over him. Well, that's usually what they fight over. That's it. Wow. 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 <laughs> ah! 
God damn. All right. Yeah, that's okay. You starting off hot. You okay? Dirty job. Dirty job. You, you good down there? I'm, you okay? I'm great. I'm great. You all right? Hit Whoa. my intro, baby. <laughs> It's Big Oose, Old Man Logan, acknowledge him. People, what's good? All right, so this is how this is going to go tonight, all right? I know some of you people that normally watch us are probably saying, he who remains, who was that? Old man Logan, uh, Big Oost, Travel Chief, all that, blah, blah, blah. Listen, our wise man isn't here tonight, so I have to show an other side of me. It's, you know, most of my friends, these guys up here, they all know Tim has a funny side as well. You know, I'm not always just even kiltered and just talking all stoic like this and such. No, I have my moments when I like to crack jokes, like I just did about two mummies fighting over one arm. Anyway. Such. Fresh off, fresh off a of flu game, the Boulevard Ave Radio on Monday, doing our podcast over there, episode 111. It is your boy, Old Man Logan. I want to welcome y'all to Hot Take Wrestling. And all as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Everybody that tunes in, everybody that hits that audio when it comes out on Spotify or iTunes or iHeartRadio or wherever you see these four to five guys that I thank you all in advance. I thank you guys as well. I send a second of the motion. Oh, yeah. You know what time it is. OMG. It's Clutch Uso. King in a black robe. Ill will. Hashtag high takes king. I've been waiting on today since last week. <laughs> ah! I ain't thought off like lighting a bun on here in a minute. So y'all know this is serious business. Gentlemen. Yeah, we, you better be careful before Brian Breaker show up and take your blunt. He's, he's attacking people for no reason. Hey, I'm here to tell you, Brian fast, I'm fast too. I'll race him. <laughs> I'll race Brian Breaker. Y'all, y'all heard that hit first. Brian it might hurt when it's over with, but I I run with him now. Bro, I ain't even bro. I, I ain't never seen a motherfucker that fast in my whole bro. Like like not to be on some not to be on some shit, but uh Brian Breaker is fast. Like he Fast, bro. He he not he not one of, he he one of them, not one of those, bro. Ray Steiner fed them batteries, bro. He football, football background actually showing. I'm actually intrigued by this variant of Brian Breaker. The whole time he's down there in NXT, I did not care for him whatsoever. You ain't you ain't like you ain't like badass Brian Breaker. No, you're tweaking. I'm you're not tweaking on a whole I'm new not. era. It, just, it wasn't connecting with me, bro. Like. Now, the last time we had that kind of disagreement about a, 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 a superstar on the NXT roster, it was Tiffy time, okay? Tiffany Stratton. And you were absolutely positively correct in what you said about her. She's I'm amazing. Good. She's good. next up, whether a lot of people want to admit it or not. But Braun just was not connected for me when he was down there in the NXT, man. I don't know if it's just because he felt too forced or because of how NXT was being presented at that time, but just wasn't working for me. Now, now I'm intrigued. I'm like, okay, he's up here, and it's like, all right, let's see what he does, you know, with this spot he's in right now. Okay, this is my thing, and this is my question to you guys before we get into the weekend review. Do you see this Braun Breaker thing going anywhere? Do you see potential in this in any shape, fashion, or form? Any any order here you want to go in or just it doesn't matter. This is like an open ended question because it just came to me at, at, at this junction. All right, I want to hog the spotlight, but if KG it will, y'all got a thoughts on it? Well, I'm gonna say this. 
if you look at how he was presented from like when he was a baby face in NXT 2.0 to how Triple H is kind of like utilizing him now, kind of like just kind of over, not necessarily over exploiting his speed and strength, but it's it's trying to get him a purpose. Like it's like a slow build to something, but exactly what? It almost feels like that um that Braun Strowman push kind of mm-hmm. like how it started off at first. Like they just want to show you how good he is at doing X, Y, and Z until they give him a purpose, and then he end up getting like you know skyrocketed into a title picture. So in a way, I felt like they're building him to be that kind of guy too, and they're doing it on Raw, which is okay because what's up? Raw is not being there. Um, they do need like maybe one more some kind of a star and they're using like they're using Brian kinda in that it um it's like a Brian Strowman slash like young Brock Lesnar kind of role without the mouthpiece. Now when is it gonna turn into something? Uh I don't know. Like I I wanna say I don't know if they're trying to build toward like him and Ricochet being like his first real meaningful uh, feud and that maybe going into maybe SummerSlam, but if they fight SummerSlam, we know who's gonna win. So I don't know. Who wins? Between him and Ricochet? They gonna give it to Breaker. Not the speed champion? You said they give it to Breaker? <laughs> Speed champion is crazy. Why would you give? We we go so we're going to acknowledge the speed championship here. And we is that a real belt? Is that it's like the twenty four title belt, but on the internet? Hey, the fact that they let the Rock bring out the People's Championship, and they're not letting Ricochet bring out the speed title when he's shown on TV. I, I don't get that. Okay. I, now, granted, I'm not putting Ricochet and the Rock on the same level. I get that. Kind of did. You know what I mean? You kind of, you kind of, why even create the title is my point. Like, okay, we know this is geared towards Twitter X, whatever you want to call it. You know these two to three minute matches. I get that, but why is that just living on Twitter? If I, if it's if you want the title to be legit and you want it to be recognized, right? Not saying he got to defend it on Raw. Not saying he got to defend it on you know live television, but. Why would he not bring that uh, that title out? But he bringing it out on 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 X or Twitter or whatever it is. I mean, it's a social media championship. What was Rock Championship? A people's championship. It was a I, gift. Whatever. whatever. It was yeah. a gift. Final but, but, was a gift. Mm. but but let me get back to Joe's question about Brian and Rick uh, Ricochet as far as if they had a SummerSlam match. That match probably I'm going to add a third person to that match It'd probably be a triple threat because he's also kind of embedded in this uh few uh Ilya Dragunov and I think the three of them definitely it's it's instant chemistry almost um so I could see that either it, that either happening one of those two ways or I had the thought I said obviously because Chad Gable is turning I said what if they I don't think they would put him under Chad I, I, but I was wondering I said you know, if my man didn't retire from in ring competition, what if Bobby Roode managed Ron Breaker and Chad Gable as like a new tag team? Like, you know, you talking about Bobby Roode? Yeah. No. Because Brian 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 Breaker is Brian Breaker himself is an entity. Like he's like he is he is the attraction. If you're gonna do anything for me. What I would rather have you do is do Alpha Academy just dissemble. Which we're in. And and you give me uh you you give me Chad Gable and the Creek Brothers. No idea. I, I like how you think it because as, as you was getting ready to set that up, I thought about that and I was gonna say scratch what I just said. And Creed Brothers with Chad makes way more sense, especially if we're getting ready to see Perk Chad, Perk Gable. If we get, listen, if we get Perk Gable, not even on no bullshit, if we get Perk Gable, um, like, like that, that is the way to go. Like that's, that's the way to go. Perk Gable to me is the exact way that I would want this to, this to play out because 
if I have to have it where Chad Gable is Perk Gable, what you're giving me now is nostalgia, but you're also giving me someone with a, a move set that's just as good, if not better than Kurt Angle. Because if you really look at it, Chad Gable is more agile. Kurt Angle is a better wrestler, but Chad Gable is more agile. His personality is a little bit more over the top. I, I like I like that verse. This version of Chad Gable, I like it. I like it a little bit better, bro. I do. I do. And and what I will say also, these are like feuds that are brewing and, and building away from the championships and. You know, that's something we haven't, you know, we've seen Triple H working on that since he's been in charge, but having meaningful feuds away from the titles where you're just as engaged and interested as you are when it comes to the Intercontinental title or the uh, WWE uh, World Heavyweight Championship, you know, or or the Women's Heavyweight Championship, Matt, like, you know, it just, it's, I really feel like it, it's becoming... The reverse of the ruthless aggression era where raw is like that show that smackdown was back in the day and smackdown right. is kind of in the place of where raw was back in the day because someone's missing yeah i feel like i feel like that as much as we all get into just like the nitty-gritty of everything and how we do everything i really do genuinely feel like a lot of the stuff that we're watching right now is just a big, big, big boom of wrestling. Like wrestling is becoming a huge thing all over again. But what I don't think people understand is, is that WWE is so deep where we complain about them not having superstars. They have the potential to have major superstars, depending on how they move for the next five to six years. Mm -hmm. And we don't see that yet. And that's what's crazy. And they're not going to be subjected to the whole uh you know having a ceiling like everybody else like trips right. is gonna let them just like yo if they can get to rock uh stone cold s level she's gonna let them do it you know uh you can't hold people in place forever just because you don't want them to go off and do different things you know what i'm saying oh we want to keep you here so we're going to try to make sure you have a ceiling like that that's 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 not doing the the uh product any good that's not doing the people any good and you know that's gonna make stuff become stale and redundant and then you're not gonna even want to do it you know um which kind of led me to some of the stuff i started thinking after watching nxt uh the other night but i'll wait on that until kg gives us the deep dive with the uh week weekly review that's gonna be something that we're gonna discuss kg if you are ready sir say not a word because your time is coming. And now, and now your week in review. Talk to people, Jack. Uh, we crowned a new queen and king of the ring this year at uh, Blood Money. I mean, uh, oh, 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 at the uh, Kingdom. Uh, yeah. So Dia Jax went on. I think everybody had that right. Uh, everybody had that one in that after we knew what the tournament was going to be the tournament final should i say i think that once especially once they announced too that the winner was going to receive a title match we knew lyra wasn't going to get that pushed that fast which is okay uh the man was a little bit more up in the air i think that finish was kind of crazy and it's uh, i don't know you know but the match itself was a good old school type showing between orton and gunther because it was a good story slow pace where moves are actually meant something where we're not just getting the spot fest uh, Gunther was made to look strong, obviously. Um, the IC title match was pretty good, that triple threat. Uh, Becky and Liv also had a good match as well, I would say. Uh, and, and then Cody and, and, and Logan finished off the show perfectly. Uh, his old man Logan was saying, Logan Paul, you know, people call him part-time, whatever they want. At the same time, I mean, this dude really hasn't had, when he's been featured in a high-profile match, he has not had a bad match. I mean, they've, they've all been good or borderline great, one could argue. Um, double or nothing happened. I only had a chance to look at a couple of those matches. I got to see Osprey versus uh, Roderick Strong, which is a damn good match. Um, and the Arcadia Arena is always a, a shit show, <laughs> but uh, not not in a bad way. Uh, did disappoint this year. Darby Allen set Jungle Boy on fire. Um, 
they hung Darby upside down at one point and super kicked that man with thumbtacks with on the gym shoe. MJF is back, so that was another big storyline there that was that happened. Um, guess he's not really trying to go anywhere anytime soon. Got the AEW logo tattooed on him, although you could cover that up at any point where it's placed. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> it's not that I thought them that th- thought that through. Um, I guess Monet is money. I guess as they say, uh, we had a new TBS champion was crowned. Fortunately, Adam Copeland got injured at a relinquished TNT Championship. Uh, what else? What else is there? Um, Dirty Dom. Um, yeah, I think we all call that. You know, there's something going on there where he, him and Liv, they're gonna reveal that was intentional. I think this dude's going rogue, and it's almost like the uh, continuation of what Solo is doing on SmackDown. I think D- Dirty Dom's trying to uh, branch out and do his own thing away from Judgment Day because he keeps trying to bring people in, and Damian's not happy about it. It started with Andrade. Then he's bringing around Carlito. Now, then he goes to uh, Legado del Fantasma. He's over there doing this thing with them. So, uh, we'll see what happens with that. I have something that I want to say, and I don't want to come off as an asshole when I say it. Mercedes Monet does not deserve that title. Come on, Skip. In, in any shape, fashion, or form. The last match she had with Willow Nightingale, Willow Nightingale won that match, even with her being injured. This last match against Mercedes Monet, she won that. You telling me one one finisher, one finisher takes out one of the most dominant women in wrestling. Right, one. Not like multiple finishers. Not like more than one finisher, not like, you know, some chicanery, like on a chair or something or something. This hey, is son. my sole issue with it. Now, look, that pay-per-view was good. Double nothing was good. I don't care what anybody says. Okay. Everybody's, oh, it was mid. You've had good pay-per-view after good pay-per-view with AEW. Stop it. That was good. That, that pay-per-view was more so set up because Tony Khan is trying to get this WBN contract. Okay. You want to show that he can tell stories. And tell great in ring stories in ring. That's why it was set up that way. So that's why it wasn't a dream match fest. It was more so based off of the wrestling storylines that are in AEW right now. But with that being said, Mercedes Monet does not deserve that championship in any shape, fashion, or form. Say what I said. Come on, Skip. Hey, this hot take, right? Yeah. Yep. Right? Yep. Okay, let's call it what the hell it is. That was whatever arrangement her and Tony Khan got under the table, it just got exposed by her getting that win. Because let's be real, everybody that's in this circle, everybody that's listening to me, that can hear me, y'all know what I'm trying to say. She's going to WWE when she really get done anyway, right? Right? We're going to on that, right? Yeah. So this win is just to make her sign the legitimate. Because up until now, I even said on the show before, all she had that she can talk about with her AEW run is her damn debut. Uh-huh. Now the win says, okay, now we got something else because up to now it was the debut and the in and, the in and out storytelling, like the over dramatic contract signing, like the wigs. I mean, what the fuck? Like she had to do something, and this was making this was making Sasha. I mean, Mercedes, whatever the fuck, look strong, and for what? Because they paying her. It could have been worse though. They could have had her take out Vlad Storm and take the AEW women's title over of her. And have us revolt. Honestly, Condor. I was a bit surprised they didn't have uh uh Mercedes go after that title first, as opposed to the quote unquote. I mean, as a TBS championship, you look at it as a it's a mid card title, right? I'm not wrong with that. In a way, in a way. It's like the women's main card. It depends on how it's presented or who has it. Because it was times when, let's say when Jay Cargo had it, and like, a good example, like Hikaru Shida was like the women's champion. When Jay had it, it felt more like the championship because how it was presented versus the other way around. Versus when like Britt Baker had it, it was the belt, no matter who had it. Mm -hmm. It, It basically depends on the champion. And to me, while Tony Storm got that belt, I don't give a damn who got the TBS belt. That's the championship. 
Yeah, because she got. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I it could have been, it could have been worse. They could have had her go straight to the top. And yeah. her ego, as we've seen before, I'm surprised she didn't try to make that move. But it made more sense with her and Willow since they had the angle from back in Japan when she got injured in that match. Willow beat her in that match. So, okay, that carries on. That story. So that made more sense to go that way. Now, if she should have won or not, hey, we could bring it back to when CM Punk came and he beat Darby Allen. Was that that was his first match, right? Darby. Yeah. yeah. And Darby was he, Darby was pretty hot at that time. And they had a returning part timer, a glorified returning part timer, come back and beat Darby. So mm-hmm. it's it's in the same light. Every every company does it if the name is big enough. You know what well, I'm saying? That either. Yeah, that, but that's what I'm saying. Every company do that. It's just, you know, if the name's big enough and depending on how much money Tony gave Mercedes and the big deal they tried to make with her with, with, with the Boston debut, you know, they're they're banking on her, for lack of a better term, to, you know, draw ratings. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I, can, I can only fathom the kind of money he threw at MJF because everybody everybody thought that man was gone everybody triple h H wanted him bad he wanted him bad and there's no way there's no way they didn't throw the bag at him for wwe they Mm -hmm. tony just threw more so yeah i'd go get a tattoo too that i can cover up with a sock you know or i can tape up you know what i mean when i'm putting my wrestling boots on and you know i'll be at i'll be at a wrestlemania eventually but i'm gonna go check this bag over here same as Mercedes. I'm gonna go check this bag over here, but I'll be like I said in the group. I'll be there at WrestleMania 42 to put over Jay. Mm. Y'all can look that too. Mm. Mm. I mm, uh. WrestleMania 42. She's gonna have the same type of meltdown that CM Punk had. We're gonna see her maybe jump on somebody too, and then you're gonna just look up and it's Royal Rumble time and. Next thing you know, had a dream I could have made it. And Joe was okay, so this what's gonna happen, right? She gonna have a backstage issue with Statlander, and she gonna choke Statlander, and then some more. Joe gonna break it up because he gonna always break up the fight. It's gonna always be Joe. Always, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's always be Joe. Like, hey, yo, y'all gotta, gotta stop. The women with. equivalent of like Joe. Who's the women equivalent on the AEW roster? Nyla Rose. Serena D. There it is. There you go. That that's who it'll be. That's who it'll be. Yeah, yeah. Such good shit. I I I think th- this this is my thing because when I rewatched, I watched the match twice to get my Mercedes Monet bias out my system, and it was a good match. Don't get twisted. Like it was, it was still a good Mercedes Monet match. She's good. She is good in ring. Let's let's not pick the funk. But her character is. Sasha Banks with the bad wig and bad gear. Like it's 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 not good. Like it, it's not good. And, and I'm not I'm I'm not saying that in a space where I am hating on Sasha or I'm sorry, Mercedes Monet. I am saying that because I've seen her character be better in the very beginning. And I've seen what it was when it was Sasha Banks legit boss like i've seen that that version of that character and that heelish thing this whole ceo boss money talks type thing is is very passe to me it's very it's it's very like i don't know like like i don't want to see sasha banks become like sister abigail or like that but i'm just saying like at this point it it just is what it like it, it feels like you just like I'm just going to be a boss now. I think she thought this character was the evolution of the Sasha character. And it's not translating yet. I'm, I'm going to say yet because who knows? Maybe she'll be able to get it over. But as of right now, no, it's not translating. It's not translating. I think the vision I have for Sasha's character trying to like leave WWE would be more so like, especially with her going to Japan first. I think I would be thinking like a money making street fighter just to like be out of the original element that she was in. Always be about money, but like a more 
tougher character to say I'm about fighting or something like that. Instead, Mercedes, and I'm going to keep saying it because it's the truth, she's just unsuccessfully cosplaying Sasha Banks in every promotion after she left. King Canvas said in the Twitch chat, uh, uh, money can't cook if you kept comparing her, if you keep comparing her to Sasha Banks. But the thing about it is, is that um, I'm not comparing her to it. I'm saying Mercedes Monet just doesn't translate, period, because I know what Sasha Banks was. Like She's presenting Sasha Banks as Mercedes Monet and saying, I'm not Sasha Banks. I mean, let's be real. Yeah, because it's because the Sasha Banks character, when when, when, when Mercedes Monet or whatever, Ronaldo first got to NXT, she changed the name and it was and went to Sasha Banks. And that's cool. You know I'm saying? That's, that's cool. And she evolved that character, Sasha Banks. But even when she was in Team Bad and even when she was like with the role model, and even when she was like, it was still Sasha Banks, but it was like different aspects of Sasha Banks. Mercedes Monet is supposed to be vastly different, and it's not. Esteban said it best. Mercedes Monet is cosplaying Sasha Banks. Everything Sasha Banks would be if she rapped on her own music and decided to not utilize people to tell her her wig is bad. Like, that, that wig is no, bad. She really is coming off as the knockoff heel version of her down in NXT. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's it's not it's not as good. And it's like the exact same gimmick. It's the exact same. That's why we're only reason we're comparing it. And at least I, I I can say that personally. I mean, if somebody feels different, they're allowed to feel different. I guess you could say that booking was all ego. And I'm not talking about the guy that went to NXT. Shout out! Oh, I'm so excited about that, Ethan. I, please push Ethan Page. I, I, Ethan, I think Black and I think Black and Gold is getting ready to return. Uh, it doesn't have to be presented exactly like black and gold, but they need a bigger ring down there for one. That's that's the, the, the main part. And I'm, I think they just need to redesign. And, you know, with the signing like an Ethan Page, you know, you got, um, what's my man name that came back? Uh, Sean Spears back. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you got legit dudes down there where you can get the desired uh, 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 initial thing that, that Vince was trying to do with 2.0. Oh, I want to make this solely for these brand new talents. You can, but it's a way to do that. It, you know, the way NXT was presented before was you had a mix of veteran indie talent with these new talent that you that you're, you know, saying cultivating yourselves in in um uh the the uh, performance center down there, and. You bring them out when the time is right. You know, when 2.0 first got came back out, it was like, yo, who who is what? Tony who? You know what I'm saying? And but now I'm like, okay, Tony, I can I can give a Tony D'Angelo now. He got a couple of reps up under. Mm -hmm. Uh Trick Williams, I ain't hundred percent on Trick, but Trick got a lot of personality. He's, a, he's overrated. You know what I'm saying? He's overrated. Trick Williams is overrated. I still believe. From the first episode, I said four or five seasons ago, I said four or five seasons ago that, yeah, like, uh, shit. It couldn't have been four or five seasons ago. We was not talking about Big Trick four or five seasons ago. It was, it was like NXT. Oh. It, was, it was like NXT 2.0 when I was saying Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams are like extras off of New Jack City. And I meant that. <laughs> I, meant every, I meant every word of that at that time. So okay, so present day. Let, okay, let me let me finish what I was saying about Trick. I, I think having a Sean Spears there, having an Ethan Page, uh, who knows who else is getting ready to, you know, uh, leave the uh, uh, AEW. I know Mark Henry just recently uh, announced he was leaving from his duties there in AEW. Um, mm. So, um, with these type of talents coming there, that could help. That are only going to help Trick get better. It's like, what do you think, you know, is missing that could be better? You know, that could help make him better. I'm, I'm going to do a take. They don't lose Ricky Starks next. As they should, though. They should lose Ricky Starks. It's coming. I, that take. And I, I wouldn't that. be surprised if Ricky Starks popped up in the Royal Rumble. I don't know what his contract situation is, but, yeah, if, they, if it's if it's like towards the winter, yeah, they'll save him for the Rumble. But if it's coming up. I see him at SummerSlam. Ricky Starks is supposed to be unhappy creatively. And I thought he was injured. 
No, 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 he's just not. They just ain't got nothing they for him. He's not using. That's crazy to me. Yeah, they ain't got nothing they, for him. They're pushing. They're pushing Jungle Boy with the elite. See, yeah, you tell me, Ricky Stars couldn't be in that spot right now. You ain't, you ain't liking Scrap Daddy, uh, Jungle Boy. No one likes Scrap Daddy, Jungle Boy. What? Scrap Daddy. Sorry. He's the least most. He's the like least right. interesting out of all the four pillars. Not even close in terms of personality and everything. I hate to I say see. the most interesting thing he did was get choked by CM Punk. That's yeah, true. that dude was boring. That's true. He can wrestle, don't get me wrong, but when they, I said this about a season two, when they did the whole four pillars thing, I didn't really, I always said he was at least interesting one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's cool that you could wrestle. I I don't, I mean, he. I'll give him like that he works on his physique more so than some other people. I'll give him that, I, I suppose, but I mean, that physique stuff kind of out of the window. Yeah. I said it don't matter, but unless like unless you like look completely out of shape or you know, you're a certain height and you look like you don't lift. I mean, with his build, it's like you really don't need that's good that he is cut, but like do people really care if somebody that's around six foot tall cut like Chris Benoit? He's not like his wife. I'm just saying, like, mm. anybody really care? Yeah, Who really cares about that? Not to cut you off, here's an interesting take from I.A. Malti, who was our guest from last week. She, uh, he said, Becky is going to TNA and joining them for NXT with a WWE versus TNA type thing. Hmm. Well, that was something KG didn't mention in the... Uh, in the week. Yeah, Jordan Gracie, go ahead. Y'all, y'all trying to y'all trying to cook tonight. Jordan Grace popped up. She's gonna have a, a match at Battleground with Roxanne. Uh, I believe it is for the women's NXT women's. It uh, is. It is. Um, you know, we've been saying for a while. You know, in the in the group chat, and I, I don't know if we said it on on uh, any other shows, but TKO has bought TNA at this point. TNA has been repositioned. Their product looks you know reinvented a little bit. They went and got some fantastic belts. The storyline, the wrestling has always been there. It just didn't have that 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 bag behind it. You know what I'm saying? To like position it. And here we are. Fast forward. Trips is giving us uh, uh, his own kind of forbidden door s moves here, and we're getting to see it through uh, NXT first. Which I'm not mad at. I, 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 me personally, I probably would have had Jordan attack Becky or something, and that would have probably been a little bit more formidable. Even though they said Becky's leaving to take time right now, everybody was scared. Oh, Becky's leaving WWE. But I saw Jordan come out there, and I said, "Hmm, what happened if the man pops up in TNA?" <laughs> Uh, give her something to do, but I think she's more needed. <laughs> I think she's more needed on Raw, though. They kind of need her star power. You know, she's not positioned in the title picture anymore. I don't think she's doing anything. I think she's about to just go chill with Seth. I think they called her back because they didn't want to put the title right on Liv, and they needed a big name at the Saudi Arabia show. So yeah. who else are you going to put in that title spot right now? I mean, because Oscar's injured. Mm-hmm. Um... They not they can't really commit to pushing Dakota until she proves she can stay healthy and she's still not a big enough name right now. Mm-hmm. Um they just took the title off EO, so they weren't gonna put another one. Right back, back right, exactly. Um you really don't have anybody. Shayna's never touched the title on the main roster. I think they just kind of did that and let her so that she went about to go do her thing. And they they wanted Liv to come in as a challenger because there was the whole storyline that she could never beat Becky, which she hadn't before, um, in a singles match. And it set up the whole storyline with Dom. So now I don't know where they go from there because with Becky taking time off, like I just said, Lyra wasn't get that push, but you might have to push Lyra in that spot unless they, um, because I don't know what, how serious Rhea is supposed to be out all along. So it's like, who else do you have to put in that position right now? Unless you initially, do a call up, maybe. Initially, didn't they say Rhea was going to be out for like six months to a year? Mm-hmm. That sounds about right, because that you because otherwise they would probably wouldn't have took the title off of that fast. So yeah, this I'm just, so yeah. You and also she, she have, maybe ends up coming back in in six months too. You know what I mean? It depends on rehab. Yeah. How it goes. I know a lot of people were saying uh, Charlotte rehab was has been going very good, and you know what I mean. They're expecting her maybe to return soon. Maybe they'll have her, but they got Andrade on SmackDown now, so I don't I don't foresee them moving her. 
Right. And well, they're actually married, but like like uh, she talks uh, was on our on our podcast. She pointed out, or we were on her podcast. I think she pointed out that um, uh, Ludwig Kaiser and Tiffany Stratton are on the same show. Yeah, they're not. So I although just, they're not married, I see where you were going with that. Because yeah. the only reason I was because there were some possibilities on SmackDown they could move somebody over. Um. So feud will live in the meantime because they really. I'm trying to think outside of Lyra, and it's not that she won't be ready for that spot. And ring wise, it's just there was already a built in storyline where Becky and Liv could have feuded. And who's to say they're not, though? I don't know if she officially is. Did they, they put a statement out that she's supposed to be taking time off? Well, uh, is she, yeah, they said she requested some time off. Okay. <clears throat> Me personally. If she didn't win the title at WrestleMania, I was anticipating her taking time off because Seth was injured. You know, this is going to be, a, you know, their time to kind of just do the little family thing and have time all off together before they come back. You know what I mean? Back to work all together. Yeah. Um, they put that's why when they put the title on, I was like, huh? Well, you know? Seth just had a birthday too, though. She had posted on Instagram, so it might not even be. She might have been taking a week off all, you know, because they really don't have anybody positioned. The few will live right now. Um, I'm trying to think. Did y'all see Alexa Bliss backstage? No, no, she's walking backstage. Oh, that's good to know. But the um, same line, you don't want Bliss or it was it was in street clothes. Mm -hmm. Uh, Alexa Bliss wasn't stage. She is, uh, I think K Cave said she is undrafted. Um, so. There's possibilities of that, but again, with the draft, what I kind of hate and love about WWE is they don't stick to it. So they can be somebody that just pops up out of nowhere for Raw and just pop up and just be like, oh, look at that. You don't have number one contender. Guess who it is? Type shit. So, so um, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Well, they could do a situation what they did with uh, Jay and KO last year. You could send Naomi to Raw. I, I think they would send Bianca to Raw before they would send Naomi. Yeah, but you don't want Bianca losing. Right? I, like, she already, and then she's already detached, and that's the problem. Not, I mean, because they could appear on both shows. Mm -hmm. But my thing is the next time, it's not, I mean, Bianca's done it all. She can afford a loss, but it's also like one of those things where I feel like, didn't she just, unless I'm wrong, I could have sworn she lost her last. You for that championship, but she, I guess, maybe it was what's it a triple tag? I'm trying to remember last time she got a title shot. She lost in against was it Charlotte and EO cashed in on her. No, she beat Charlotte, so I'm saying, but then they they revisited that briefly, right? So I think EO went over, right? EO, or EO cashed in, it's on been a while. EO came okay. out from Bianca in Detroit. I was there when that happened. No, no, I know that, but I'm saying, when was the last time she had like a full on feud? Like Bianca, yeah. I don't know if she had no, 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 no. She has had one since then, but she lost. Like in, like, it was um, the elimination chamber. Yeah. Okay. That was the last time she was going for. Yeah, it. she she can afford a loss. I suppose they could they could come up with something. It only have to be an actual deep storyline. It's some some uh, it is like I said, that still makes more sense though to do that. With Logan suggested then to. Use somebody that's not been in that spot because eventually they're gonna have to use somebody that ain't been in that spot up three out for up to a year. So yeah, but. yeah, and that's why I say her because with her you're at least able to put somebody in that space that's like a solid name, solid hand. You know what I mean? That could carry a show. You know, um, and if you don't want to have her, I don't foresee them taking the tag titles off of her and Jade no time soon. I think that's storyline booking. That that they'll lose those titles when they have Jade uh turn on Bianca or vice versa, whoever they have turn. But um as long as they have those titles, they can appear on whatever show. And they haven't delved into that just yet. But I, you know, that's the way I could see maybe Bianca getting back into that title picture, uh, depending on how long Becky's gonna be out too. But it's that it's that what if factor. Like they had Becky down there in NXT for a spell, and she won the title down there, had it for a little bit. Before Ly uh, Lyra uh, Lyra won, um, maybe we could. A a a you know, TNA. I I've 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 been just speculating when I say TKO's purchased TNA, but you know, we haven't seen like an actual, 
you know, announcement. Hey, yeah, we've acquired TNA just yet. But when that does happen, if it happens, you know what I mean? You could see, I could see a Becky popping up over there. It's fresh competition over there and vice versa. Some of those ladies coming over to either NXT or Raw or SmackDown and, you know, just being some, some NWO versus the world type uh, vibes and matches where you, you got people going up against people you didn't probably think we, you were going to ever see, you know what I mean, in the same ring unless, you know, their contract was up so over in TNA. Tasha Steele may be popping up on NXT. Yeah. I, I I have a strong strong inkling that with all things pointing to eventually WWE TNA Forbidden Door that this is going to open up a vast amount of talks with the WWE mm-hmm. because their style is hard harder to learn for the wrestler because it's predicated more so on the entertainment. We don't know if it's going to be one of those things where they are going to push the narrative of having like a Jordan Grace and then bringing back certain aspects of the women's roster from TNA to WWE because we don't have a number one contender to face Liv. And honestly, if I'm being frank with you, although Liv Morgan has improved, she's still mid. Like she's, she's, she's still, she's, she's become more impressive, but she's still like, you know, like even when she cut that promo about, you know, her revenge tour, mm-hmm. going about a certain way, very, you know, mm-hmm. you know, wait, wait. Wait, say it, say it. it's mid, it's mid, it's very, it, and it. not, and and I'm not saying, and I'm not, and again, like I said before, I'm never trying to come from a space of being a hater, but Liv Morgan is a beautiful. Caucasian lady who has potential to be something more. If I'm being honest, Mandy Rose is a better champion than Liv Morgan. Boom. If man, if 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 they could get over the OnlyFans stuff, Mandy probably would be in that spot right now. We probably wouldn't even be having this conversation. Yeah, Mandy would have got drafted by now. Yeah, yeah and the, and those matches would be better. Yeah, because Mandy Rose. People forget NXT 2.0 because you, you forget NXT 2.0 that, that Mandy Rose champion for a year. But if you didn't push yourself to watch Mandy Rose, you don't realize that she improved every match. She definitely you don't realize that her match. Uh OnlyFans screwed her, no pun intended. Yeah, you, you don't realize you don't realize Toxic Attraction had two of some of the best female in ring workers in NXT 2.0 with Gigi Dolan and JC Jane. You also don't realize that from them, she got better. And she mm-hmm. was more of a danger when she was down there in the first place. Like mm-hmm. she was running rough shot down there. Now she makes way too money on her other platforms to ever consider WWE. And that's, that's just facts. It's just facts. Like they're, they're not going to get her back. She don't want to take those bruises the most unless she wants to. Well, see, yeah. that was the thing though, bro. When she was let go of WWE was still owned by Vince. TKO may not even give a damn about OnlyFans. Hey, guess what? Keep your OnlyFans, Mandy. That's gonna bring even more people to the product. Uh, OnlyFans sponsored a UFC uh, a UFC match at one point. Like they were point, bro. This is my point. So it's one of those things where they were harping. Vince was harping on that for whatever reason. I don't want them on Twitch. I don't want them on this. Okay. All while you in the back. All while you in the back doing debauchery and. You know what I'm saying? EP and your secretary. Hey, so, I don't think none of that stuff matter no more. Straight up. Because so, they got somebody that was just on the NXT show yesterday. They got a whole sex tape they got leaked. And I'm not going to go there right now. Yeah. One Number person one. I forget. One person I forget is the uh, inaugural queen of the ring. I forgot Zelina's on it. Monday Night Raw roster. I'm not saying it'll be, a, but it is something to do because Delina can definitely talk. So, man, she's, I mean, she's a solid hand in the ring. I'm not saying, I'm just saying something else that, that could be a placeholder too. Girl, I don't know, you, they should have they pushed her when they had the chance. They they, really they, yeah, her. but it's just, you know, I, I, I do agree, but it's just one of the things. She is an option though, since she is on the Monday Night Raw roster. I don't know why I slipped my mind because I guess they don't use her, utilize her a lot as a wrestler. Yeah, she's um, they, they present her more as like a valet these days. Yeah, 
Um, if that show not in Puerto Rico, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, the, I mean, I'm just like, I'm just throwing it out there. If they don't want to put, if they don't want to switch somebody from SmackDown to Raw, or if they because they can't switch everybody, obviously, because they right. really they they're pretty thin roster wise, especially on, well at least on the baby face, baby face side, because um because if she stays healthy, I think Dakota Kai's probably only money in the bank. Yeah, it's just also you can't keep pushing damage control too though. That's this the only is, problem. This is where. They should have kept Nia Jax on Monday Night Raw. Yeah, yeah, because now that she gets a title shot, she's gonna have to face um, Bailey, which mm-hmm. we've seen before, and will probably be a, a better match than it was in NXT. But like her and we, well, we've seen have we seen Liv Morgan? No, we saw Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax. My bad. Yeah. But it, it, it's just one of those things where it's like. We've seen this before. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. I gotta switch the narrative. Gotta switch it up. Ooh, the round table's getting heated. Heated round table. All right. I'm gonna start a fire right now. Oh. Two questions. Two questions. Whose championship run is more stale? Cody Rhodes? Or Swerve Strickland. Second question. Second question. Who's a better celebrity wrestler? Bad Bunny or Logan Paul? Who want to go first? You want me to go first? I don't want to say this, but because... Fire. Swerve. I say that because... We didn't nec- we didn't need Swerve. We needed Swerve to kind of keep that edge. Like at, at times he shows it, but it's just Christian was killing it in the mid card. We sang his praises to the moon, but at the mm-hmm. same time, I don't know if that's necessarily been his first opponent. And the way they booked him, he looked way too weak to me going into double or nothing. I didn't like that whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Um, on top of the fact that he. I'm just, I'm just trying to put it. It's something that's just missing. I don't mm-hmm. know what it is. Uh, the fact that, he, that his first title defense, he wasn't main event in the pay per view. Um, not the first title defense, but his first on a pay per view, he was not main event. That's mm-hmm. his first title defense on a pay per view. He wasn't main event in that. He was mm-hmm. put on the under the second to last match or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just something's just missing. Cody, at least. I feel like some of Cody's promos have gotten more fiery because he was he was coming at Logan Paul's head. Mm-hmm. Um, him and AJ had a pretty damn good exchange. He gave a gave us a history lesson about how they're one of the only three or four people that won the NWA championship and the WWE championship. Mm-hmm. I feel like that was important. They put on arguably those two of the you know AJ's New Japan stuff. A lot of, I didn't see a lot of it. Like I said, that was one of AJ's best matches in WWE. That might have been Cody's best match in WWE, honestly. Because yeah. I think people gave him so much credit, which was amazing that he was able to put on the classic with Seth with a torn pectoral muscle. But I still think fluidity-wise, and I obviously can't hold it against Cody, because fluidity-wise, that match with AJ hit that one little spot where they were going to try to do that little sunset fit powerbomb. It was a little bit of a botch, but there was just more crisp movement, which is understandable because he wasn't he didn't have a torn pectoral muscle. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bad Bunny and Logan Paul. I'm give it to Logan Paul because of his overall body of work. Um, Bad Bunny only had what one singles match. I can't. Yeah, I'm not gonna unless yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. It was, I mean, one it was good. Mm-hmm. No, I'm saying I was, I was saying okay. Was it was good. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, Logan Paul and Seth Rollins. Uh, Logan Paul and Cody. Logan, the triple threat with Logan KO and it's just his body of work. I wouldn't compare the two. I think, I guess that's because they're the two most recent. Mm-hmm. But if I had, had to compare Steve, I had to compare uh, Bad Bunny, with, I would say Stephen Amell maybe. That'd be more apropos to compare because even Stephen Amell had more matches. I just think it's kind of, I don't know why I would, uh, you know what would be a better debate? Logan Paul or Ronda Rousey. I like okay. that. Okay. That'd be a that little one. bit better of a debate because of the body one. of work. We'll do that one. We'll do that one then. We'll do that okay. one. Okay. All right. We'll do that one. Uh, I'll give the slight edge to Logan just because Ronda had some matches where 
as much crap as I give Charlotte, they they only had like one banger basically, and they wrestled maybe five times. That kind of says something. Oh no! Wait, wait. Rephrase. Actually, I forgot their Survivor Series when Charlotte got disqualified. That was actually a good match. That was a good match. But and then but they had like five six matches. Well, I guess you're not gonna knock it all apart every time. But I think the I Quit match was, was good. But I feel like they kind of. Hey man, I think we I, I, now this one could this. I'm saying this one might be a little bit more difficult though because oh, Ronda has some handle matches. I I, I, I tried to throw some Girl, song. Ronda Rousey was fire. Early Ronda, like yeah, the that's what I'm who, saying. The one who flipped Triple H, yeah, the one who squashed Alexa Bliss. That, that Ronda, that that's Ronda what I'm saying. The, the one with Sasha Banks at the Royal Rumble, fire that was fire. We didn't have a, we got cheated out of the one against Becky. I think that would have been great if they didn't that chew on Charlotte. But you know what I'm saying? Actually, might be a slight edge to Ronda. Because, yeah, because yeah, she, she worked a little bit more so, so far, too. But at least it's more comparable. Come on. Somebody else go. It's a tough. It's like with the Ronda thing, it's a tough, like, it's like, it's like this. But I got to give it to Ronda just because, number one, again, Ronda Rousey's beginning run versus Weissman's here. Uh, Ronda Rousey's beginning run versus Logan Paul's like everything. He still got a little more work to do. Just a little more though. Yeah. Just a little more. Because Ronda also got a good match out of Nia Jax. Yeah. yeah. And Ronda, when Nia I mean, was, was fired before she got fired. Right. I was just saying before because even though I give her crap about not just, just doing it, it's like it's that's still like you have to worry about that. <laughs> But even yeah. though she's been a lot safer back then, nah. I I think what what y'all ain't said just yet. Uh, you know, y'all gave Rhonda her flowers, and and they were due because when she first came in, yeah, she was she was she was trying to you know dedicate the time, effort, and energy. I think, but I think what happened was where she started letting her ego. She started feeding into her ego. And feeding into who she was outside of WWE before she got there, Logan Paul doesn't do that. He talks all that crap on the mic, but he's a shrewd businessman. As you see, that prime is in that corner every single week. And every time you see him in the ring, he's safe. He's he's in there with main event guys. Main event guys. That quickly. You see him in there with Roman that quickly. Like you just said, KG, Seth. You see him have the spot, you know. All it was was really men slapping meat paws in Royal Rumble when him and, and, and Ricochet jumped off the rope. But it, it left such a lasting impression. Pause. People still talking about it. I said pause. I said pause. You know, he he's all ego. Who did it? He's all ego on the phone. I mean, on the microphone. But he's dedicated to the craft. He's dedicated to the craft of wrestling. And that's why I like him so much. Because he's dedicated, he's focused. He has other stuff going on, but when he gets in that square circle, he's he's there to put on the show, and he puts the show on. You know what I mean? So I think for me personally, and I'm not just saying it's because Logan has liked some of our content. Hey, Logan. But, <laughs> but I, I've, I, I, you know, I just, I like the dude. I like the dude. And he's, he's a businessman, and you listen to his podcast. You know, he's he doesn't come off as arrogant as he may come off in, in person and then, you know, when he's doing the promo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would just, one quick thing, because I'll I let and Joe, or I'll let Logan finish. I don't know if you were finished. I, I would th- I was just going to yeah, give Ronda the slight edge only because it's a little bit more matches for her body at work, but it's not a landslide. It's like, yeah, it's like apples to oranges, honestly. She, no, and she was she was there like every Monday or every Friday when you yeah. know we haven't saw that with Logan just yet. Um but I, I do think uh maybe we can see that and maybe that could be something where hmm to kind of bring it back to Liv and Dom. I, I was gonna say maybe we need to see Liv and Dom down there in NXT because I can see them running red shop down there. You know why you, you know why you could see her run the wreck shop in NXT. Attached you didn't see full time because she's mid. She's that works for her. 
That's why they put her with that's, the why we, that's why we got stuck earlier trying to figure out who her next like opponent could be. If it was anybody else, you could throw a name in there and go, that'll work. You know why you can't do that with Liv Morgan? I'm gonna say it. We talked to having the heat around table, right? I'm gonna mm-hmm. go there, goddammit. Look, she's the only wrestler I know, women and men, who upon winning a championship got exposed as a wrestler. She was a face when she won the championship the first time. And as soon as she won the belt, what happened? The fans turned on her immediately. There was nothing for her to do but lose the belt as quick as she got it. Now she's a heel and she has the belt. And of course, it's supposed to be like this revenge tour and building up to this lit, like return match whenever Rhea comes back. But all right off the bat, no one knows what her next step is. Why is that? Hmm? It's about her and it's about the roster too, though. When she bought it. Yeah. If if she was as good as she's supposed to be, or even worse, being a champion, you would have somebody lined up at yeah. least on the top of your head. You can do that. If Bianca Belair were champ right now on any roster, you can give her a name. I didn't give her anybody. Bianca. Anybody. Well, you can, but you, you can, but you can, but I think Raw doesn't really have a lot of faces. That's part of the problem too. That like, is. They have no. Did you speaking the truth? But it, it also speaks to the, the lack of the roster too, though, because SmackDown, you got you got the three superheroes lined up, <laughs> you know where they are. <laughs> yeah. They can get a title shot at any moment against any heel. Um, I'm, where, where's where was Natalya at? Was was she drafted? Even NXT. Okay, so she's still officially on there. But I feel well, like Natalya's on Raw, and that that's truly who may end up being her second. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I'm just. Oh, but that's too. Oh God. Okay, I'm sorry. Lena, like KG broke it down, right? I'm looking at the women's raw roster as we're speaking. You got nobody's built up enough just yet to actually be able to seem be seen viable as a threat to live being champion. Ivy now, nope. Ivy now, no. Definitely not Maxine. Start, no. And this is nothing against neither one of them, especially Zoe, because Zoe. Can can you know what I'm saying? Out wrestle uh, a gazillion of them, but but they got her in that tweener spot, so it was like you give it to Shana. Look like they want to. They're not going to put Shayna. The Shayna's not built yet. If they, if they would have done a better job at keeping Shayna in that credible spot as the ace, then she could have been looked at as a threat at any given moment in time, like she should have, like they did with Brock Lesnar. They didn't protect Shayna in that same capacity. The only reason it wouldn't make sense to throw Shayna in that spot, because I don't know if you guys know, but like she was in some like little storyline with Lola Vice on NXT. And that's still going on. Yeah. See what I'm saying? They just have to stop that and then just throw her into the title picture. That's this this we are as the more we try to figure this out, the more we're exposing the Liv Morgan problem. Okay, here we go. You're not you're not gonna do Maxine Dupree. But there but the problem is SmackDown is is, but SmackDown. Oh my goodness. SmackDown is more stacked on the on the Bayface roster side. That was funny. I didn't even want to discard it. <laughs> that was just no, but but SmackDown has more Bayfaces though. Outside of the champion, you got three other viable potential champions. Raw doesn't have another Bayface outside of the Becky that should be touching that championship right now. All right, Lyra, me, Lyra's under the slow bill, so you can't do her yet. Let That's me. probably the only person I would think outside of Becky. But they talking. They got this whole angle. But okay, but here's the thing: that they dropped the ball with real quick. Um, if they had pushed that right, I mean, I don't de- understand DIYs on SmackDown, but there's no reason Candice LeRae shouldn't have been getting pushed by now. This young lady wrestled the Young Bucks, got super kicked in the face with spikes on. Candice LeRae at some point could have been getting the push, so her, that's her more so creative. Her, 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 Indy Hartwell, and Indy too, right? But and, I mean, Indy, they're in the heel yeah, spot. But I'm just saying, it speaks to why they didn't. Their SmackDown's roster is stacked. At some point, I, at, at some point, at some point, not cut you off, KG. At some point, no, I'm, that's good. At some point, this was a part of the plan because this makes Liv viable if she's champion for more than six months, even if she wrestles three people. You can't take away the fact that she was champion for six months. So this works out perfectly. WWE because it's like oh shit well she's a viable champion it's part of her revenge tour for being a long tier champion for six months plus because at that point that makes her more of a viable championship now mommy probably won't come back till maybe Survivor Series maybe SummerSlam maybe 
But after rehab, if I was, then I would make her wait to Survivor Series just because it would it, it would it would be lit. I honestly think that this was a part of the plan to make Liv Morgan a viable option in the first place. Because you don't want her to wrestle as much as you do want Becky. Because in ring, Liv Morgan is very, she's not limited by any means. Elimination Chamber showed us that. She's not limited. But she's not as exciting. She's not an igniter. Okay? She doesn't, like, excite you in ring. She mm -hmm. is nice to look at. Yes. But when she starts talking, you you just, you're, you're literally just like, And, and it's not out of frustration or anything. It's just like, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't move the people. It doesn't get the people going. This is on purpose. Because Liv Morgan would get destroyed by Shayna Baszler. So he starts to run circles around her in the first place. Even if you put Natalia in that space, which you're going to do in the first place, because you always call Natalia when you want to be able to have a decent wrestling match with somebody. No disrespect. That's old faithful. That, that's, <laughs> she's Dolph Ziggler. She, she, yeah, she's, yes, yes. Oh, she is Dolph Ziggler. She is Dolph Ziggler with no personality. That is She's exactly. the original women's Dolph Ziggler, isn't she? She is the original women's Dolph Ziggler with no personality. That is who she is. That's who she is. And to answer your question, the one who's having the worst uh, championship is Swerve right now, and that's because Tony Khan doesn't know how to book him properly. Also, uh, Logan Paul is only better than Ronda Rousey because he's wrestled against better talent. Ronda Rousey should get the nod for this one because she had a great match against Nia Jax. Did Joe agree with me, though? I felt like that title ring thing is a tie because Joe. I really can't feel Cody with the belt yet based on the way his shoes have been set up personally. It's like more of his promo work is more – that's that's what does it for me versus everything has to do with him. And I guess I'm still not used to Roman not in that title picture either. And then with Swerve, Tony Khan and his booking is doing it again. Yep, because yeah. why? Why is he facing? Why is he facing Claudio Castagnoli, night two of him being champion? Yeah, 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 and he only know what he wants to do gonna, with them. Uh, he's going to be facing Will Osprey at the next uh, pay per view. Yeah, Forbidden what? Door. Forbidden Door. Will Osprey what? versus. Yeah, so that means the title ring. That means the title ring about to end. Yep. So, yeah. So now it's I think because they're about to go because they're going to all in. Yeah, going all in. in is in what August. Yep. Well, the Will, the Will Ospreay, he wrestles at uh, Double Nothing, right? Who's yeah. yeah, he won the international championship. He won the international championship today. Yeah, bro, it's over with. It's done for. It's just, you know, we'll just call it a day. Tony Khan mm -hmm. tried to capitalize on the moment because of Cody finishing the story. So he gave us the championship that everybody wanted for AEW. And, yeah. Let me ask you. is this, yeah. though? Go ahead, Logan. Is there anybody, is there any feud right now or, or a series of feuds, for that matter, that you can give Swerve that could change your 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 uh, stances on who's the who's the worst champion at the moment between him and Cody. Well, well they keep hinting at him feuding with other people because he he's gotten into it he, with the Bucks a couple of times backstage, and he's called them out on the mic. So my thing is, if it's Forbidden Door, even though he's no longer, even though he's um. Because his opponent's AEW talent. So why wasn't Okada in that spot instead of just, Osprey? That would have been a good yeah, idea. I like just give him a feud. Just, like give, just give him a feud. Well, I'm saying if he's he, if he's got beef with the elite anyway, why is Kazuchika Okada getting the title shot? Because Osprey could. Because even though we said uh, that Swerve was taking a back seat, okay, but that's in America. I'm fine. Osprey doesn't have to have the world title going all in in London. He could have been main event with the international championship. Absolutely. So Absolutely. why is because now he's almost like to the point where the crowd is going to be split. But then guess what's going to happen at all in the swerve beats Osprey before that at Fit Forbidden Door. He's probably going to get booed out of the building unless they put some heel with a lot of heat. Unless he's facing Jungle Boy, and that's once again you're going to put Swerve. And that's like I said, I'm fine doing that there where you put him underneath the card. But he should not have. He should have been main eventing his first pay per view as champion. It could, it could be some chicanery with that. I can see them protecting both Will Ospreay and and Swerve with them having somebody coming in. No, uh, yes, that, uh, something like that will happen for sure. Yeah. I'm just more along the lines I of maybe Warlow probably in that spot. 
or somebody from you know, New Japan. I, I don't know who you would have at this point from New Japan come over. I just say Warlow just because, all right, him and him and Swerve, I could see that being a thing. And then you have your international superstar and, and Will Ospreay face whoever from New Japan. You know I mean, what I mean? They might do it. Well, he might not be cleared, though, because they might. I was going to say they might be able to do a triple threat with um, Adam Cole. MJF and Swerve. But I don't know if Adam Cole would be clear by then, by all in. And now, your wise man, no chill with Phil. Hashtag MM99. Can you hear us, bro, or you can't hear us? Bill. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Anybody hear me? Yeah, yeah we can hear you. You good, bro. We can hear you. Can you hear we us? Can, can you hear us? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? He, okay, he will like, do his intro later. I um I, I think I I agree with you, KG. I, I just I just want I just want you with Swerve to take care of him the same way you took a care of Hangman and Kenny Omega. Give him a feud. Just so that's all. You? That's all. It you could literally, you could literally have him feud with the elite, like KG just said, and have him go at it with Okada. You can just have him do that. That is an interesting take and an interesting way of doing things in any shape, fashion, or form. You can literally have him. Go at it with Brian Cage for the longest time. That's okay. Because eventually, if you are the fantasy booker that he is, the match is going to go over well. Brian Cage is a yeah. beast. He is nasty. And I, ref- and I rephrase myself. It wasn't even Christian being the opponent. It was more so they didn't let them main event, nor did they really get that feud enough time. that They focus more on the elite, doing this stuff with Tony Khan, this crap, and the scapegoat and all this. They didn't really feel make that feel as important as it should have been. I've been watching more Dynamite. I felt like Edge and well, I said Edge, Adam Copeland and uh, Malachi's Black feud was built better than Swerve. And- we got to get used to saying the Cope. Okay, hey, Cope. that, that pay per view was built for Tony Khan. It, it wasn't a vehicle for Swerve. That no, was it wasn't. Your, that was that was your vehicle for Tony Khan as far as being an in ring uh, 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 persona. It's it's, it's nothing yeah. different than what they were doing with Vince. Okay? Yeah, remember those four. It- those horrid uh, Stone Cold Thunders he used to take back in the day. Yeah. He, like he's That's having- true. Now look, but now Vince, but now Vince, this- Vince may be a rapist and he may be a sexual offender, but he had personality and he had the ability to be able to put somebody over based off of what the storyline and setting was or whatever. I don't want to see Tony Khan take another bump and then get up, hold the back of his neck, and take another bump. It's the dumbest <laughs> thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, that's the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my damn life. This man took a bump, fell. Got back up. I like he was hurt. Tip Come on, bump. That was a ter- bro, it was a terrible bump. Bad. It was no bro, he he took the 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 whatever the, the whatever uh the two the triggers, driver the, 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 the two V triggers yeah fell and then got back up like this within two or three seconds. Nobody even in the ring does that. No. He bro, he's he's not I don't think he get it. He doesn't. But he did also at some point say, I'll never take a bump as long as I, and then this happened. And then this happened. There you go. You know? And I had to point something out real fast about the whole Swerve Scott thing. So one of the biggest things I noticed in, like, his little time and in, in what being a champion is, they'll give you, like, inklings of, like, fuse he could have, and then maybe by, like, a week or two later, he's involved in something else. That was the whole thing with Claudio. Then it went away. He got turned on by his own group. So they was focused on him and Brian Cage. But then it was like now Christian's in the in the picture. Mm-hmm. I think as we speak, the last thing that happened with him was um like some something happened with Christian where Prince Nana pulls up in the in the truck and then Swerve pulled Christian out the truck and he almost put him in a concerto on the, the front of the car. And it's like, okay, now watch next week, he finna fight somebody else. That's how they're booking him. Like they gave him the belt to capitalize on the moment because that was the champion that 
every like the fans wanted AEW to have. If MJF isn't there, okay, they did it. Mm-hmm. They're gonna give the belt to just anybody else at this point because the moment already passed. Let's just that's the problem. Yeah, Tony Khan moved this into oblivion. And another problem too is I don't know what's going on with Hangman, but I mean, maybe that should have been one of his first feuds because they had they've been had they had a few of the yeah, last five back six back months. So. Hangman, that's why they couldn't do the Hangman when they was feuding for so long. Already. That's gonna end up Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns on AEW exactly. team. Exactly. No, but I mean, yeah, some people. Been, but just, well, no, but some it's people is, they with. separate for a little bit. I'm saying they don't gotta necessarily go right back to it. But for example, when um. When Seth had the title, they revisited that thing. He wasn't a champion yet, but they revisited that feud with Ambrose. Because remember, they had that feud when the Shield first broke up, when they did the whole Tupac hologram thing in the Hell in a Cell. I mean, never mind. I wasn't Tupac. <laughs> but you remember, they revisited that feud maybe six, seven months. I ain't saying they would have went back to it right away. But I'm saying you could let Swerve have it for maybe three, four months, and then you could have came back to that. Because I don't think they really like to swear keep it that long to the point where you don't get back to it. But I think it'll be about three months by the time Forbidden Door comes around. But yeah, and, and I, I, I think y'all wrong, man. I think y'all. I think they need to let Swerve keep it for a while. Y'all need to switch. He, he not though. They they do Cody, need to. He's not. Gotta re, they got to build him right from this. Cody point. is Cody's reign right now is Rocky three. Yeah, it's still Rocky. Y'all not paying attention to it right. Yeah, it's still Rocky. It's it's getting Cody lined up for a Clubber Lang. You just don't know who Clubber Lang is. Not yet, not yet. And and I get that, but that's why I say Swerve's Swerve is worse off right now. Swerve ain't, but he's not. Swerve just had a very good match uh, tonight on a. Uh, what, what was my man name? I, I don't know what he's going by now. He was uh, with Kill Jones. Switch. What's his name, KG? Kill Switch. Kill Switch. Fake Kill Switch. Kane. Call him Fake Kane. Uh, <laughs> Good match. Great abyss? match. You talking about Abyss? No, no, no. no Luchasaurus. Luchasaurus. Oh, uh, what the hell? Just. But uh, no, Fake Kane. That's who he is right now. He. Bro, bro. Okay. What was the highlight of Double or Nothing? Nothing. MJF came back. Yeah. That was the highlight of Double. That's the one that's got the most. With the Triple H yeah. jacket on from 2002. Right. Backlash. Highlight. With a tattoo. Backlash, the highlight of the, the highlight of backlash was Cody Rose versus AJ Styles. Okay. All right, but five star match. Yeah. Highlight of King of the Ring. That's a safe, that's a safe match. Yeah, yeah. But highlight, highlight of King of the Ring. Okay. It's King probably it's our probably Boone, our Boone Gunther. and Jax winning. Gunther winning. Gunther. Then Cody versus Logan and then Nia Jax. Nope. Because the match with Cody versus Logan was good. Nope. It, it was. Still, He's still being booked in a space to where, yeah, we know it's Rocky Three, and we know eventually that Club Lang is going to come out eventually, whatever. But Cody is who Cody is. Tony Khan can't book Swerve because he doesn't know how to book Swerve properly. Don't know how to book? That's but, but is that Swerve fault or is that his fault? That's 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 all we can that's all we can react to though. That's Not all, necessarily can, right. What he said. But like I like I don't I don't listen. Swerve Strickland deserves. To have a rivalry deserves to be the flagship of this. He is articulate, he's African American, and he has a move set that nobody else does. <laughs> nobody can qualify. Nobody can actually like qualify, qualify with. They they can't you can't compete with that. There's nobody that wrestles like Swerve Squad. Uh, so that's it. What are you laughing yeah. at? Bro, <laughs> Cody Raheem Rhodes. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what you saying, bro? We said who's who's championship? No, we got all the black champions. We got you can't forget Cody Raheem Rhodes. Cody is not black, and you know he's not black. Stop this right now. His his wife is black, so that'll black. make him black. So that'll make him black. So so his so his man. mama his mama is the black lady that used to dance with Dusty Rhodes. His mama is Cuban. She's not black. No, his mama is the black lady that used to dance with Dusty Rhodes in the ring, bro. Since you're here, just say. Acknowledge your WCW.
she could drain my energy. One second. Give me one second. I'm sorry. I need this is for me. This ain't <laughs> Acknowledge your WCW. AG got close to the camera. That's how you feel, man. As I was saying, she could drain my energy anytime. Mm. Hotter than a Mexican hot Mexican plate once with a whole lot of hot sauce on it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, I'm speechless. I like. <laughs> look, I no. know I got I got to address the elephant in the room, and I just want to apologize to everyone for being late. I really do. I'm I'm so sorry. I don't want to. I don't want to have a uh uh no hot take after dark. More of a serious tip tonight, if that's cool with y'all. But that woman fine. That 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 woman whole page that her whole her she posts more on TikTok. Her whole Instagram page gallery. It's a gallery. Like it it, it she don't miss. Mm-mm. Oh. Mm-mm. oh my god. I um oh bro, I gotta tell you ladies donut. Bro. I like how you put that soul sister on, on that on that track, bro. That <laughs> bro, if a woman make you sing Bilal, and Bilal only had one hit. <laughs> he had two. What was the other one? Uh the 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 love 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 that one. Soul sister and what else? What the that fuck was, what was that? So excuse my language. It was it was a song. It was like it was a it was another one he did. Oh, he did a song with the roof. Boom! Like I said, Bilal only had one hit, bro. Song with the roots. It is true. He did, he did a song with the roots. That's the root song. I'm trying but to bro, Bilal here. A woman that fine have you singing "Soul Sister"? You in love? Like yo, you 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 in love, bro? Just like if you sit up and listen to Sade, mm. you heartbroken. If a woman had you sit up and listen, it's certain artists you got to be mindful of. You got a picture? Mm-mm. No, because she permanently burned into my mind. It's it, it's certain it's certain artists that if a woman have you listening to, you open. Like if a woman have you listening to Michael Jackson off the wall. You're open. If if I say that same sentiment about Lucky Day, yeah, yeah. I, God Lucky damn it! Day. It's only one thing missing in my life, and that's you. You fine motherfucker. If a woman, if a woman makes you listen to Sir, that's the same thing. Oh yeah, especially yeah. Sir, especially Sir. I I I tell you this, and, and pardon me for being petty. If I had a woman that fine, I got a chance. I'm sorry. I I do. I do. You got to change, was... change what? If I had a woman that fine, I got to change my name to. I do because I would be jealous. I would. I would. Bro, I would be jealous. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm Why? sorry. Why? A woman that fine. Imagine your woman being that fine, and she leave out of Walmart, Why? and the person that checked the receipt say, "All right, have a good night, bro. We got to fight, bro." We got to fight for saying have a good night to my woman. <laughs> she too fine. She too fine. KG, I share your sentiment. What? Why? why? Like why? why? Like why? 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 What? Why what? Why what? Why would I be jealous? No, nothing. If if you, if y'all didn't see NXT this week too, I implore you to do so because Jada Parker was on there looking amazing. She did an interview with Booker T this past week too, which was actually really good. Wait a minute, why are y'all putting y'all head down? What I say? What's the matter? We're ignoring you right yeah, now. Yeah, put my spectacles back. You're, you're you're on seven second timeout for seven seconds. You just know you're on seven second timeout. You just know, you're, on timeout. you're on seven second timeout. You see, KG said that one out. You in seven seconds. Did y'all mention NXT from yesterday? 
Yeah. I don't <laughs> it again. Yeah. John, I see my NXT comment. It was good, man. Lexi we- Red on oh, NXT was the best NXT that was ever NXT. No, it wasn't. Why would no, it? They, no. It was the best one for 2.0. Man. What are we doing? No. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? That was the best NXT that NXT ever had in the history of NXT. I'm she messed the- up like seven times. She messed, she messed up, up like more. seven times. Okay. She I don't know. Know. Did you see her manhandling that belt from that man? She didn't know how to pull it off of him. She messed up the drum roll, please. She no, messed no, up no, she like didn't. three or four times. No, she didn't. L- look, she said she's going to be the host at Battlegrounds. Okay? He said Battlegrounds. She from the Lou. Y'all Ain't, no S, in Ain't no S in Battlegrounds. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. 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 Come on, what are you I know y'all. I know y'all are not dogging that girl for putting the S on the end of something. When every last one of our mamas say Walmarts, Oscars, she don't say that. Walgreens. No. Mama don't say that. Yes. Don't say that. Yes. Don't say that. Yes. Mama, she says Walmart. Yeah. She said, well, yeah. She Walmart, yeah. Walmart, Osco, Walmart's, Facebooks, she don't say Facebook. Don't say nothing. What's the no, no, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. No. Only one they guilty of all of these. Oh, that's all of these. Oh, that's all of these. Yeah, yeah, okay, you get that. Oh, okay, all of these. Yes, all yes. You can't, you can't compare all these to Battle Rounds. Taco Rounds, McDonald's, McDonald's. Big Trick was trying to get on too. You saw he kept coming over that name. There is an S McDonald's. Listen, Last listen, listen, Legend. Hey, Trick, Trick Williams was trying to fuck. Hey, one. Hey, he was on. He was on her. Listen to me right now. Listen to me right Trick now. Trick was like, man, I thought I was the champ. I'm sorry, and I, and I, and I don't mean to be interrupted because, yes, that thing was moving. But sexy red. Oh, literally. oh, 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 oh! And I called it. I called it. What'd I you called call? it. What? What did you call? That they was trying to get sexy red on WWE. Remember, I remember I said they was trying to get her at WrestleMania. They was trying to get her at WrestleMania. You said that. You did. Bianca's come out or Jade's come out. So I was right. And Joe, you owe me another bottle because I called it. That wasn't even a bet. I don't care. I said it first. I'm not giving you a bottle. So there you go. I said sexy it. You owe me a bottle. I said it first. Sexy red on NXT is about as important as. Uh, the tire gauge like pump thing that they invented. Oh. Pause. Like, you know the little thing that pull a little stick out, you put it by your tire, see how it No, exactly, because it doesn't matter. That, that That's stupid. It was a dumb re- Listen. It was a night of NXT. NXT. You had Sexy Red reveal the Women's North Meth- uh, Northwest uh, North American Championship. Okay? Then... You had Ethan Page. No, you had Jordan Grace come out and challenge Roxanne. Then you had all ego Ethan Page attack one Trick Williams and revealed himself as the person that was attacking uh, 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 that group. I don't know the name of that group. That last legend. It was me, Austin. It was me all along, Austin. It needs to be disbanded immediately. That group is terrible. No, it's not. That group is terrible. Oh, no, y'all can say what y'all want. That's the biggest, highest grossing. Um, that's the highest grossing NXT so far. That's because, unfortunately, that's because Sexy Red is a draw. Within eyes, Shawn Michaels was trying to hit. Shawn Michaels is married. Shawn won. What that mean? Trick was trying to hit them. Trick, Trick definitely was Tips trying to hit. is married. I what said, that mean? Trick, Trick, go with Lash Legend. Oh, what they mean? Bro, okay, Mr. all right. Man let's have, let's look, have look, this conversation. No, 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 no. Y'all ain't getting rid of this. Y'all ain't want to do this because we lose. Yeah, yeah. Are we doing this? Don't choose the violence. Are we doing this? Okay, so you're telling me you have Last Legend as your partner, as your girl, and then Sexy Red comes by and be like, mm, I th- I'm going to think about it. I think I'm going to do it. Yeah, you you want to know why? Why? Because right now, Ratchet Pussy is what's hot. Okay, all right, let's move on to a different subject. No, 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 no. Look at the music scene. Terrible. Bro, this is why we, this, bro, it's heat around table discussion. Y'all, y'all, that, bro, y'all don't have that great. Y'all want to heat on sexy red? No, okay. we did that already. Bro, that's, <laughs> KG, whoa, KG. KG. She KG. one of the hottest things going right you now, good, bro. bro. You good, bro. 
No, nah, bro. Listen, she's she's okay. She's popular. She's one of the hottest thing going right now, bro. No, 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 no. She's popular. She is bro, popular. She's shows, bro. She is popular. Which Lil Rilla is a better rapper than her. Ice Spice is a better rapper than her. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're looking at logistics. You're looking at this as an old head. You are. How many of these? No, 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 bro. Listen, to, listen to what I'm saying. You're looking at it from the aspect of when we came up in music. That don't matter now, bro. That that, I, that has no bearing. I I I understand. You know what? I understand what you're saying. That makes sense. But if I have Lash Legend, who I'm with, and Sexy Red walk past me, I'm not looking. I don't care. Ew. Sexy and, and no bro. sexy sexy red. Sexy you, red. You do, do y'all really think sexy red is somewhat attractive? Joe, no. you say that, and we we know plenty of men who will have a nice woman on their arm and they're going over oh, yeah. there raw dogging. Yeah, and, absolutely. And doing the do with the sexy red. We're not gonna sit and act like that don't happen. Absolutely. Okay, I'm so I'm not talking about nobody else. I'm talking about the three of y'all. Y'all right now. No, no, no. Give me examples of nobody else. Talk no, about no, y'all no, right no, now. Pre-engaged, pre-engaged Jose was under the same act. So don't you judge me, Oh bucko. my God. Here we go. Okay. All right. You know don't what? You, bro, you know judge what? me, Bucko. You know what? Ever since Joe got his little mustache back, he been on this fucking high horse. Joe, stop trying to come at everything as a therapist and look at it at what is whether you want to say she's popular or whatever she's a draw she is a draw she's it's not. a smart biz bro whether you like logan paul or not whether you think he's a good wrestler or not he's a draw that was a smart move for them but he can wrestle and bro, he's bro, got bro, talent bro, bro bro you looking you looking at it bro who needs talent nowadays to be famous Answer me that. Do you really need talent to be famous now? This 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 is my point. Answer this the question. Because you're saying question. you're saying valid points. No, no, you're you're actually saying valid points. So you're not you're wrong. Making, you but what you're but what you're saying. Yeah. This is what I'm saying to you as a following. And y'all are having this argue with me, this discussion with me that I'm that I'm the one that's crazy. And you it's, had a sexy red poster on the back on that back wall just last week, bro. Shut up. Phil, stop talking to me, bro. Stop, stop talking to me. For seven seconds. Just stop <laughs> you you what? No, no, no. No, 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 for seven seconds. Don't you talk to me. I'm not talking that's to bla- you. That's blasphemous. That's blasphemous. Sexy Red. Se- Here we go. Sexy Red is Hulk Hogan. She's popular. She's not talented. She's popular. She's not good. She's popular. Sexy Red went on NXT for one reason and one reason only. She wanted a Caucasian crowd because wrestling is dominated by Caucasian people that watch in the first place. For it to be allegedly one of the highest grossing NXTs is fucking wild to me because at no point, at no point in any shape, fashion, or form should Sexy Red be involved with NXT Battlegrounds. What the fuck? It's NXT Battleground, woman. You know that because the teleprompter tells you what it says in the first place. Battleground. Stop making this Sexy Red thing a big deal when it's not. Not- hold up, hold up. Go ahead, Will. Go ahead, Will. Go ahead, Logan. Because I got, I, I, I believe the doctor has something to say to Brother Yusuf oh, again. Oh shit! Here we go. Here. <laughs> Clutch no. your old floor, sir. Let me, let me say this. All right. Somehow, this, this, this. Okay. Sexy Red is the prime ministress of Ratchet Pussy. Okay. Somehow yesterday that got overexposed in wrestling now us as wrestling fans this is where i'm pretty i'm about to go there whoever the hell is on this woman's management team they are platinum plus they know where the money is they know how to get attention this is the reason how nxt ended up getting more eyes put on it because they've been building up to this and all this was supposed to have been based on some trolling funny shit she did with Shawn Michaels song. Shawn Michaels thinks everything is funny. And 
it led us here and there's only so much bow 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 i can deal with in a wrestling ring it, it was so tacky i'm not trying to be that person but if this leads to her wrestling at some point like because with, with the way stuff works you kind of just never know i wasn't expecting her to be the host of battleground i thought this was going to be a one-off i did I, i'm now trying to mentally picture her actually hosting the show she might have to like rehearse lines and she already can't say words regular so um what the hell are we really looking forward to from here because battlegrounds um <laughs> you know I, it's funny it, what I, you said. <laughs> you know battlegrounds that, that's that's the, the the sexy red law that was her her, her hot word because she finna host thank that show thank you, you know you. you know i mean sean cooking obviously he knew where the money was because that's that drew that show drew the way a raw and smackdown would i can't take that like the appeal i i'd be a i'd be a hater of business to say that's not what happened and Joe was wrong. If Joe looked at that crowd on uh Tuesday, that crowd was predominantly black. Mm -hmm. They were rocking with the girl. That's what like made it like what's happening here. They were going off with the song. Get it white sexy. People. Get uh, it sexy. Yo, grown, yeah. grown men were saying get it sexy. White people love sexy bread because it goes against everything that we as black people cannot stand at point in times that's why they love sexy red stop stop doing this y'all know they in florida so oh, yeah wait, that crowd might be little... to talk. it's old man logan's turn you already gave us your disposition it's old man logan's turn and it's my Bill, then it's shut up y'all already know that y'all already know that, no go, that, ahead. That oh, cross... go ahead big Bill, shut go ahead, big up go ahead, shut big up Bill. No, shut, you up. Shut, up. You shut, you up. shut up you 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 say what <laughs> Uh, Joe, Joe has. Shut up, Bill. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, he said it. Lou, who? Zer. Lou, 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 that's what laid the groundwork for what we finally saw, which is why it wasn't a one-off. They had a discussion. They had a conversation. And they said, well, you know, we got Battleground coming up. What are you doing this night? Sean got a sense of humor, man. Like, why did it... So, and think about this year's WrestleMania, right? Right. Meek Mill was a part of the intro for WrestleMania. After he got fucked like a chick. <laughs> Jesus <clears throat> Christ. I wouldn't go myself. What the hey, fuck? Hey, bro. Hey, man. Hey, bro. Come here. Joe, Joe, can you hit the end? Look, don't me, me, and me, and you, me, and you can. No, I can't edit that out. That's that's good. That's good content. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That's good ass. I, I lost my train. No, did he? No, did he? I lost. I legit. Oh, lost. But he, he not wrong. He not really wrong. He telling this truth. I'm sorry. I mean, he's got a lot of in the situation, but that's they, look at WrestleMania. They use Meek Mill. Damn, and WrestleMania. He just, he just added a layer there that I, because he made. It, point being is that WWE's promotion team right now is all about inclusion, and that was strategic, man. Whether you uh Joe wants to admit it or not, because Joe was on here last week defending white women and white men. Okay, mm -hmm. now he is this week desecrating this young lady that's just out living her mm -hmm. best life. Talk to him, talk to him, Deacon. Talk to him, Deacon. So I will not J Joseph Toxic Jose talk to him, Deacon. Get there and do what you're doing about sexy red. Tell him about the gun line, boss. Wait, 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 wait a minute here. Wait a minute. Hold on here. We can all agree that we know from this ordeal she got she got paid. 
And now mm-hmm. we go, right? Oh, yeah, they do a bad We can't right. knock that at all. Sexy Red paid off right. this NXT appearance and the next one. She looking at this like, okay, I never even knew because this this put eyes on her literally that wasn't there. And that I do there. know that like other races like to live vicariously through characters like her. I gotta say it that way. She is a character. She is a character. Mm-hmm. That's what and, man, that's what WWE likes. They like characters. Sexy Red is a character within her goddamn self. She sell her character sells herself. You put her on camera, and what just happened? She drew. We just we that that that's what that's the truth, right? However, who we talking about here? This girl make Ratchet look Ratchet. Now she make Ratchet look good. Yes. Good no, way. She doesn't. She make Ratchet, she, she make oh, Ratchet look like a stain. So I'm wait, hold up. Can I can I can I get into this? One, one second. This one pause. Second. No, I, got, I got one last point to make. Because this is this is what Joe was doing. Joe is speaking for a demo right now of African Americans who feels like sexy red is a bad light on us. That's not no, bro. Mute yourself, bro. You didn't talk enough. Let somebody else talk. As, Shut up. As, don't turn as that. brother No Chill pointed out, Joseph, you are getting up there in age. We all are. <laughs> so, oh, you're you're taking, you're subconsciously, you're subconsciously, you're taking this stance against Sexy Red because of this, because you feel like this is, you know, uh, 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 as as little brother called it once upon a time. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, uh, what show? What kind of show? A minstrel show. Minstrel show. There we go. Go ahead, Phil. Go ahead, Phil. No, let him finish, bro. How you gonna cut? I know he just, he just so he cut me off because he know I'm telling the truth. Right, because he's telling the truth. He don't like the truth. Tell now, him about the gun, boss. Finish talking. He was Tell him about the gun, bro. White man and the white woman. I didn't cut you off one time. Because mm. I didn't get to defend them. Y'all you think, think I'm making this bro, up? Bro, mute yourself, bro. You, you, bro, you need to sit and listen. Why don't we're you having, say we're having shut up. Up. Look, we're that's having all, that's right now. That's, that's all I have to say about Akil, it, man. Akil, Akil, I, tell, Akil, tell you were the guest last week. Tell him to mute himself. Tell Joe to mute himself. We having an intervention right now. <laughs> You're not having an intervention. You're not. We are having an intervention. Say, so, bro. bro it's bro, about a mute intervention. Right. Mute yourself, bro, because I'm I don't want you interrupting me. That's hey, the first, that's the first mute intervention I've ever seen on Hot Take. So, first of all, let's be clear. Whether you like sexy rare or not, she's getting the fucking bag. That's all we should want for anyone and everyone. And you're coach. telling me that this woman now crossed over into the WWE universe. That universe is just as big as Marvel's universe. Stop playing. Whether you like it or not, she's here. And this won't be the last time. I guarantee you she'll be on Monday Night Raw's or Friday Night Smackdown's. Hey, that's going to be a day, God damn it. matter, bro. <laughs> like Will was saying, she's a fucking draw. Bro, you could sit and say, oh, well, Sexy Red only got a white fan base. Lies you fucking tell. Now, we all come from the 90s hip-hop era where we wear baggy clothes. These young motherfuckers now wear, wear jeans so goddamn tight you can't tell whether you looking at a chick or a dude from behind. Ain't no Diddy involved. The pants is just that tight. It's a different generation, bro. It's a different generation. This generation of ratchet music now is just like drill music. It was just like snap and pop music. It was just like gangster rap. It was just like constant conscious rap. What, what Sexy Red is doing right now is smart fucking business. She took Shawn Michaels' theme song, who everybody fucking knows, made a rap out of it, regardless of how ratchet or whack you want to call it, it did numbers. It did numbers. For her to get that WWE bag, that solidifies her as a fucking goat. You can sit and say what you want. Same with Lil Uzi, same with Lil Wayne. But oh, but nobody had nothing to say about Lil Wayne and Lil Uzi when they was on the, on there doing their nigga shit. Tell me where I'm wrong at. No, nah, hold on, bro. You had no chance to talk. Which bro, one didn't twerk? Continue. Bro, you can sit and say. 
Bro, the reason why you don't the reason why people don't like sexy Red's music is because her music ain't for us. We too old to be ratchet. Our knees and back hurt too much. Let's just be fucking real. Let's just be fucking real. We too we old, too old to, be to be ratchet is crazy, but, but it, ain't it the truth? So you mean to tell me when you wake up during the wintertime, you don't have to sit like an old Buick? <laughs> You're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's why all of us laughing. Our ratchet was my neck, my back. Our ratchet was look him, Foxy Brown. Our ratchet was that. This is a whole new level of ratchet that's talking about eating niggas' asses. And I know I'm not supposed to say the N-word. I'm just repeating what Sukiana says. And that's what getting played now. That's what's hot in the streets. Old man Logan said, yo, WWE is being all-inclusive right now. That's the smartest shit that they can do. Because how long have they not been inclusive? Imagine how many bags they missed out on. You could say whatever about Logan Paul. We all know Logan Paul did some racial shit. We all know Logan Paul did some rapist shit. That's why Logan Paul wasn't hot until he came to WWE. Now all of a sudden everybody's riding his jock and hey, he can actually wrestle. Oh, so he can actually wrestle. Let's just negate the fact that he said some racist shit and he did some rapist shit. Like, come on, y'all. Y'all can't be on one side of the fence with one and on the other side of the fence with the other. Now, <clears throat> I want to talk to Brother Yusuf right now <laughs> because this is the second week in a row that you have defended the people from the islands of caucus. You said and said this young sister went out in front of all them white people at NXT last night. Mm-hmm. You talked about how she was shaking her ass and hips and titties in front of all them people, all them white people last night on NXT. You well. said that, Brother Yusuf. You said it, Brother Yusuf. Mm -hmm. And as old man Logan, as Deacon Oos pronounced that it was more African Americans and people of color in that audience mm -hmm. in the great state of Florida than had ever been in the NXT arena. I want to understand right now, Brother Yusuf, what has the black woman, what has the black queen done to you for you to show so much disdain for the black woman? Well, well. You was talking about Jade Cargill was mid. Mm -hmm. But you put Tiffany Stratton on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. And when I refer to my brother Malcolm, my brother Malcolm talked about how black men like to put white women on pedestals. Mm -hmm. now, I'm not saying nothing wrong with a piece of white cake every now and again. <laughs> but I want to tell you something. There's nothing better than a good brown neck bone, black bone, stretch mark having black woman with a woman. <laughs> I don't understand what is the problem right here with you, Brother Yusuf. I said to you last week, I want to say it to you again, Brother Yusuf. If you just prefer white women, then I prefer you just say you love white women. I want you to open up your heart, Brother Yusuf, and let that hate out. Just go ahead and say white power. Crime time. Because every time, yeah, Brother Yusuf, time. for the past two weeks, Brother Yusuf, you are showing me more Uncle Ruckus. Let me know when you finish, bro. I'm not finished yet, so please mute your microphone and let me cook while the congregation listens. As Brother Akil, the Phoenix from Phoenix, Arizona, that resides... He's not from Florida, Phoenix! ...now said and says, <laughs> you, brother, have a problem. As my brother Clutch Estevan rolls up his ganja... He's thinking the same thing that I'm thinking. That's why he shakes his head and says, wow, just like Deacon Logan, brother, you have a problem with our African-American women. No, I don't. It's hard not to understand what is the problem, brother Yusuf. You, you keep talking. Come, You're not listening you to me. You need to come to the cookout. You need to put down that swine. Okay. And pick up a baked rib. Okay. 
baked rib, damn. Baked rib, damn. <laughs> like beef okay. rib, brother Yusuf. You need to put down that pork rib and pick you up some beef spare ribs. Okay. All right. You need to stop eating turnips and start eating you some greens, brother Yusuf. We gotta get to, we gotta get to your serious we gotta get to your serious point. So the kid We I'm don't have to get to my serious point right now, brother Yusuf. Don't interrupt my sermon. No, we're not going to be here long because we are not of the Baptist congregation. But, Brother Yusuf, I want to let you know I pray for you, brother. Alawalakbach. You just switched religion? Okay. All right. Oh. Wow. <laughs> you need okay. to let go of that swine, bro. No, bro. Listen, y'all. y'all. No, nope, nope, you had your chance. Brother Esteban, go ahead. Deacon Esteban, go ahead. You already Joe. went. No. Joe, Sorry. you brought out minister, minister medium meat. Like, why would, why would you... Like triple M is crazy. He's triple. He went full triple M. Just because you was like pro white by accident, I know that wasn't the mission. Uh, but the mission turned into triple M out here. Like it didn't. He had to be hot take out the dark. He went straight medium meat on you. Like pause. No diddy. Pause. No diddy. Oh uh, yeah, pause, bro. No yeah. diddy. Right. Yeah, that's all me. Anyway. Um, I can't say stuff like that, but hey, you know, talking about the white bought out that, and I mean, I guess we got to do better, man. Because, uh, what is that? What is that? Um, hmm? I brought look, red velvet is better than Jade Car Kill to me. Okay. Ooh, damn. Uh, Amber Moon is better than Jade Cargill to me. Okay, that's fair. Uh, Tasha Steeles is better than Jade Cargill to me. That's fair too. Um, hell, uh, the uh, the one of our the WCW. If she had more ring time, she'd be better than uh, Jade Cargill. Uh, Carmelo's girlfriend. Oh yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, she's better than Jay Cargill. Samantha, Samantha wrestle? No, not Samantha. That's uh, Ricochet White. Um, she. That's neither here nor there. My thing with WWE is is they capitalize on a lot of popular things that are predicated to the detriment of what they build upon. When Kofi Mania happened. They built that up so well that it was like they might see us. Kalani Jordan, that's her name. Yeah, Kalani Jordan to me is a shade better than Jay Cargill. Um, I I was I know Sexy Red is popular. I know she's popular. We bro, everything you said, Phil, it's right, bro. You're not wrong. Don't just so don't don't think I'm debating with you because I think you're wrong. I'm just saying that Cardi B wanted to be on there a long time ago, and she watches wrestling on a regular basis. He's a big fan of WWE, and they wouldn't put her on. Who was in charge there? Good take. Good take. Good point, Freak Good. Man. Good point, Freak Man, 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 man. Okay. But yeah, right. bro, you already had your point. You already made your points. You like white women over black women? All right, no, it's not. Are you ready, bro? Am I ready for what, bro? Pause. No Diddy, bro. How dare you say that to me? Bro. Right. <laughs> are you Are you prepared? No Diddy. You a no diddy. Hot take, no hot take. Hot take. Uh, <laughs> hot take after dark. Triple M finna do it. Triple M. So this hot take after dark is gonna be a serious conversation. No, not a work, not a gimmick, not a shoot. This legit talking to y'all straight up. Um, part of the reason I was late today, I had a uh, tragedy strike a uh, close, close friend of mine. Things are getting crazy, y'all. Things are getting crazy. Love on you people. Love on you people. If you... You got an issue of falling out with your brother or sister, man. Make it right. 
if it's something you can fix and control, do what you got to do. Make it right, man. Because this, I had a friend lose her her four year old son today, and just the thought of that is absolutely crazy to me. I I I can't make sense of it. And that could have been anybody. That could that yo that. That could have been anybody. I just, you know, I don't want to. I'm going to be real vanilla. I'm going to be real middle of the road. I know y'all expecting me to normally say some crazy shit. But sometimes you got to change it up and say some real shit. <clears throat> and I think a lot of times, like, people don't want to hear the real. Yo, man, love on your people while you can. Tomorrow is not promised. Your next breath, your next heartbeat. Your next blessing is not promised. When you hear about these babies getting killed, it don't matter where you're from. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm north suburbs. Like, I'm 15 minutes away from the border of Wisconsin. When you turn on the news, damn near every day, you hear about some kid, some baby shot caught in the crossfire, you hear about some wild ass bullshit that's taking the lives of these babies. Babies. Life is already hard enough as is. You know what I'm saying? Like life, life is already gonna life. You know what I'm saying? I thank God every day, man, when I wake up and know my babies is good. You know what I'm saying? I guess we are kind of the OGs now because, you know, I'm pretty sure every last one of us grew up in church. And if y'all remember, like, the old folks would be like, oh, I want to thank God because I woke up this morning and had movement of my limbs and this, that, and the other, and da-da-da-da-da. You know what's crazy is those are the things now that I take pride and joy in because now I start to understand what, like, a lot of the older folks were saying. You know what I'm saying? Because the roles reverse now. If y'all remember, if y'all think back to when what like we was like 16 to like 25, 26, we thought we were fucking invincible. You know what I'm saying? Not a care in the world. We doing whatever we want. We going here, we going there, blah, 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 blah. We wasn't thinking nothing. We was reckless. We was reckless with our lives. Let's be real. We was reckless with our dicks too. Just putting it out there. Now at the young age of 40, it's kind of like, dude, oh my God. Ooh, I hope my kids don't do no shit like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when I just think about like, dude, God's grace and mercy. And I, and I, and I know I laugh and joke all the time with Reverend Minister Martin Luther the King and all that. But on a serious tip, man, like, love on your people, man. I love my hot take bros. Mm -hmm. I love our affiliates. She Talk Wrestling. Uh, Chrissy Tina. Pop. Me uh, Papa Dank. Metal Geek. Peaches and Power Bombs. Uh, 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 Joe Panther. Like, and forgive me if I'm missing that. Multi. Bro. Multi King Cayman. Yeah, King Cayman. Uh, Akil. Uh, and when you think about it, Akil is from Phoenix that moved from Phoenix to Chicago just to be closer to us. Like, yo, that's crazy. That's not what happened. He's been shut up. Yes, man. Okay, I'm sorry. Shut up. <laughs> but just, man, like, yo, like, y'all, like, love on your people, man. Like, real talk. Love on your people. It was a little man that, a little four year old baby that died today. And I just. What do you say to that? What what can you say to comfort somebody with that? You you know what I'm saying? If y'all don't take nothing away from this podcast, trust to know that we brothers, brothers fight, brothers laugh, brothers joke. But you know what? Brothers are also men, and we men enough to fix our shit. And this is a PSA for anybody watching. 
now, later, whenever. If there's an issue that you can fix, fix it. Fix it. If it's an issue that you can fix with somebody, fix it. Because you never know how. Life is precious, man, and you never know when it could be gone. You never know. You never know. So, yeah, man, I ain't going to hit y'all with no ratchet shit tonight, man. I just want to hit y'all with peace and love and support. And just know, like, man, like, yo, like, that's this hot take. If y'all ever want to hit us up, man, in the in the group chat and whatever, like, man, we, yo, we have conversations about mental health. We have conversations about accountability, holding each other accountable. We have those conversations. And sometimes those are conversations that, you know what, you may not want to hear, but guess what you need to hear? It's the Robitussin. We all know Robitussin is some of the nastiest tasting ass shit in the world. Mm -hmm. Works. You know, just know, man, like hot take, man. We 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 here for our people. We here for our our followers and fans, whatever you want to call us, man. Just love your people, love your people. If you got babies, give your babies a hug and kiss. If you're a father, don't be too manly enough to hug and kiss your sons and let them know you love them. I ain't saying kiss them on the mouth or no weird shit like that. If they no, no, no. ain't no weird shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But show them you love them, man. Give your son a hug. Give your daughters a hug, man. Let them know that you that that y'all there. That's all I got for man for y'all, man. I love y'all. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry I was late again. I'm really sorry. I was Don't, late. Nah, you ain't got to apologize for that. You ain't got to apologize for but that. Tonight was a wild night, y'all. Tonight was a wild night. Appreciate you uh, stopping by on the show and hopping on, even in spite of the tragedy and everything else. Let's get out of here. Um, these are the uh, contributors to the Pot Take Wrestling Podcast. One other KG, Ill Will, Old Man Logan, No Chill Phil, myself, this editor, AJ Lozada, um, Ad Low for the voiceover action. Please follow us on Hot Take Wrestling on all social media platforms on Twitter at Wrestling Take, Hot Take Wrestling Podcast on Twitch, MG TV Network. Guys, if you have anybody that has a Twitch, we are 11 followers from 50 followers. I don't even know how we got 39. That's crazy. I don't even know. <laughs> how we got that many followers on twitch like we haven't even been on there a lot like we should be but yeah thank you <laughs> for, for doing it anyway uh this shouts out to you. Followers <laughs> bro that's crap bro because you get like some type of trophy or something i don't know sometimes uh shout out to our wcw renee goddess who is just one of the best cosplayers in the blur community period she's freaking amazing also again we do have the discord we do with uh she talks wrestling who was a part of the community who we built with together to be able to create an amazing amazing community of wrestlers and wrestling fans as well um just real quick just so we can get this out of the way and everything else yeah we are kind of ended up on a more serious note but i do want to uh just say that phil is coming from a genuine place and that's something that we could all appreciate and uh really really hold on to we love every last one of y'all when it's like 20 or 30 of y'all in here whether it's like I think one I think one one time we had like 40 people in here at one point. We love every last one of y'all stop by and say what's up. Shouts out to Ashlyn, uh, Phil the Goat, Ashlyn's uh partner, I am multi Yanni, shout out to uh uh Billy Jean, shout out to uh Stephen Watley, Miss Usi, Leo Lady, Will Gray, Bonnet, Biatch, Keith Brooks, Chrissy Tina, DS from Rex, shout out to Mel's the Finders, King Cayman. Um uh, 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 a blue rebel as well who stopped by and said what's up to us as well as Leo lady thank you so much for stopping by I greatly appreciate y'all uh, means a lot to me Akil wanted y'all to know this that he is from Chicago do not listen to Phil on origin stories laugh my ass off um, hey real quick Joe yeah so I just got my head freshly shaved today do y'all see how transparent my shit look okay alright that's the one give us your outro Bitch. It was hot. We did our ones. And yeah, let's wrap this up, guys. I'm never, I'm never wrapping up. That's the problem, uh, sir. Uh, that's the problem. Big Oose. All right, y'all. It's another one in the books. As I started off when I did the intro earlier. Thank you. Um, 
we are going to start creating content eventually for these other spaces so you know we we, we got things working in the background um make sure y'all check out every wednesday boulevard Ave radio make sure you check out hot take uh wrestling i almost said hot take radio shit <laughs> coming soon coming soon <laughs> make sure check out hot take soon, radio. wrestling uh we are community building here uh so everybody that's been reaching out everybody that's been guests everybody that's been showing love and continue to come and support hey man it's it's, it's a great feeling to see coming this far and just starting to see the progress of it all so i hope y'all enjoy this episode and yeah man we're gonna keep it coming keep this content train rolling baby no chill with phil you have my name is phil bro shut up you got one minute 30 seconds no yep ladies and gentlemen my name is i get to start over because you cut me off that's uh, true yes go yes I, don't tell me what to do okay ladies and, bro shush don't make no hand gestures nothing ladies and gentlemen bro fix your face ladies and gentlemen my name is phil Myers senior aka cat and i get the great one no chill with phil the child support the child support slayer captain medium meat Eminem and M, the Minister of Mayhem, Madness, and Multiverse. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and follow me on all social media platforms. Uh, I am on Facebook. I am on Instagram. <laughs> I am on MySpaces. Uh, uh, follow me on Christian Mingle. Uh, Boaz for your ass. Come get some 69. Satan in the streets. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Jesus in the streets. Satan in the sheets. Um, I got a farmers only page. I forgot the name of it. I think it was uh, shucking and jiving. No, it was shuck my meat. Oh, shuck it. Shuck my meat. Eighty-three. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually had. I want to point something out. I know Joe's gonna cut me off as soon as I say this. So. There was a young lady, not going to mention her name, but she reached out in the hot take comment box in our inbox, and she said, why does Phil call himself medium meat? I would like to give an explanation of that. Um, We have heard women sit and say, girl, either his dick is too little or girl, his dick is too big. 30 seconds. You ain't never heard a female say, girl, his dick too medium. And guess what? That's that's what you're gonna get. Mm-hmm. Medium. Right, young. <laughs> <laughs>